بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد أشرف المرسلين أما بعد Welcome to one ummah Alhamdulillah Today is such a special day We've got an amazing lineup of speakers But I want us to all just start off by reflecting on a simple verse هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ حِينٌ مِّنَ الدَّهْرِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا Think about it. Has there been a time when you did not exist? When you weren't even something remembered? Nobody said you were coming. Perhaps our great grandfathers and mothers had a dream that one day they would have a grandchild or a great grandchild. And maybe they didn't even live to see their dream come to pass. But think about it. Many, many years ago, somebody didn't quit on their dream. And here we are today. The theme today, the contemporary Muslim. We've come a long way. We've been through so many challenges, yet here we are today, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. So, as your MC, my job is to keep things moving, to keep some of you awake, and to introduce our speakers. My job is also, if we're running out of time, I cut it out of my own speech time, inshallah. All right? I promise none of our speakers will bore you. I promise that you will walk out of here feeling like you've gained something. Unless you do this one thing. If you think, if you think about the last time you had an argument with somebody, in your own mind, sorry. Hello? I'm in the middle of the speech. Are you serious? People, I'm sorry, I gotta go. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Unless you have one of those, please turn off your phones and your alarms and everything else and the notifications and the pop ups. Put it on silent. Feel free to check it throughout the speeches. Nobody's gonna force you to listen. After all, this is not school. But. Please turn them off out of respect for everybody around you. But if you have an emergency, by all means, take it. Now that we've synthesized panic, so volunteers, the panic is over. Now it's time to relax, right? See, but sometimes what happens is we are so prone to conflict, so prone to being miserable sometimes, that we create it in our own minds. We feel like something's not right if we're just sitting here relaxed and calm. How many people are having an argument with somebody in their own mind right now? Discussing with somebody back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then it starts to brew up in your head. You will be sitting here for the next nine hours, and by the time you get home, oh my God, the, start, the fight is already done, you're exhausted. See, we do that far too often. Basically, what's happening is you're having a conversation with shaitan in your own mind. So shift from conversing with shaitan to conversing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here's what I would like you to do. If you think of anybody in a negative way today during this conference, take it as an experiment. Make dua for them. Wish something good for them. And watch how, how powerful your mind starts to shift. You start making dua for them. First of all, you know the hadith. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created a specific angel to make dua for you when you make dua for somebody else. Second of all, it's ibadah. It's a form of worship. And third, trust me, shaitan's not going to remind you of that person anymore. Try it out. See what happens. Try to stay positive throughout the entire conference. The moment your thoughts start racing, 
Try it. Make dua for them. Because we have an amazing lineup. If you're able to relax, then you're able to absorb. But if we're always on high alert, I mean, think about it. This decade, perhaps, has been marked by crisis. Our brothers and sisters in Fort McMurray, who I've heard we have many here, we welcome you. But we understand there's crisis. Our brothers and sisters from Syria, our brothers and sisters all over the world, crisis after crisis after crisis. Let today be a celebration. Instead of thinking about conflict, let us think about changing it. You see, our great-great-great-grandparents had a dream. They also had a dream of a united ummah. A united Muslim community that loves for their brother, their brother in humanity, what they love for themselves. A pro-social group eradicating poverty, eradicating injustice and oppression. Don't give up on that dream, but it starts with your next thought. And it's so important, so essential for your nerves to be relaxed today. If you can't do it yourself, then inshallah our next speaker will be able to do it. He's well known for his style of keeping people at ease, his laid back style. But that doesn't come from years of being laid back himself. It comes from years of struggle. I mean, he was born in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. Much like many of our speakers, he has an outstanding adolescence, an outstanding life as a youth. And in fact, every one of the speakers today is unique in their specific subject matter. They're all experts in what they speak about. But they didn't get here because they quit. They got here because they persisted and they persevered. So our brother, Sheikh Abdul Bari, after leaving Vietnam, studying in Medina, Gaining the necessary knowledge and skills and passion that never died. He went back to Vietnam and Cambodia to start his da'wah there. And now he's an imam in Seattle and a leader in refugee support. Please, you can either put your hands together or you can put them up and make sincere du'a for our beloved Sheikh, Sheikh Abdul Bari. Please. Welcome. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.